main thing that I want the children to be is happy. I'm a firm believer that if a child is happy, then a child will learn. And we have a school full of happy children here at Waverley, so consequently a good learning environment here as well. I've never met a child yet in my years here that hasn't come here and flourished. We're always looking at what we teach and how best to teach it. I think that really helps them so by the time they get to year six and they're actually taking these exams, they're exceeding by far what we would expect a child of that age to be doing nationally. We've been Times Top 100 for the last seven years. Uh, we've been high as ninth nationally out of some 20,000 schools, which for a non-selective school is a, an incredible accolade. Well, Zach is finding, I think, the work is more challenging, which is what we wanted. And the small class sizes here mean that he's really beginning to stretch himself academically. Every member of staff knows every child really well and therefore how to get the best out of that child and what each child likes or is good at and you end up with truly individual education. Because we know them so well they don't just become a face in the crowd. We get to know them individually, we get to know their learning needs and because of that we can still challenge them within their limits. So they're always progressing, they're always getting the best out of themselves. With the small class sizes and the experience of our teaching staff, that makes that possible. They get a lot more one-to-one, -one, and that's the benefit of having a smaller class. I've got one child in year five. His reading is way beyond, I think, anything that I could do when I was nine. My daughter, Eva, she's really progressing beautifully. I'm delighted with the level of education that they're receiving at the school. I think the teachers work hard to help them to realise uh, what their full potential is and to give them the tools and the confidence to realise that they can reach their dreams. It's not just all about Academics and sitting in the classroom and, and learning by rote, it's actually getting them inspired to learn in other ways. Forest School is brilliant for that. I find with Forest School is they can explore, they can climb a tree, but you take the learning outside and they don't even realise they're learning because they're having so much fun. We throw a few exercises in there with them and they don't even realise that they've just done a full lesson on science, on biology of an insect. It covers a whole world of aspects. My son, he loves football, he loves rugby, he loves cricket, he plays the guitar and all of these things are offered at Waverley. These extracurricular activities are kind of the icing on the cake for us. We have a real family atmosphere. We care about the children and that's obvious. We want them to be the best that they can be and we want them to be happy. And we work together with families to make sure that that happens. I like maths, writing stories, painting, doing drawings, toy school. We're going to make sculptures. I have loads of nice friends and the teachers are all really lovely. It makes me feel that I'm part of Waverley. The fact that it's such a family orientated school, I don't think that you can buy that. It's something in the DNA of the school, that's in the teaching staff, that's in the pupils. It's just everywhere and it just feels great to be part of it. Everything we do is all about those children. I love to see them succeed, and that's worth every bit of hard work. It's just such a lovely school. I think it gets you here. I mean, you look around and you see the children, the happiness, and that for me is the most important thing. Happy staff, happy child, happy parents. It's the best.